What if we change the temperature? Well, if we have a reaction that involves absorption or emission of heat, then we can think of heat as a reactant or a product. If we have an exothermic reaction, we can think of heat as being one of the products. When we burn natural gas, it produces heat, right? We don't normally write that in the reaction, chemical reaction because it's not, it's not matter, but it is something. It's, it's energy. So we can write it as a product. Raising the temperature is like adding heat. If we have an exothermic reaction, I had to have this drawn out here. So A plus B goes to C plus heat. So it's giving off heat. If I raise the temperature, that's adding heat. What happens if I add product? The reaction shifts to the left. This should be an equilibrium. So if I add heat, the reaction shifts to the left. If I subtract heat, if I cool the mixture, it's going to shift to the right to replace that. And the opposite is true for an endothermic reaction there. Heat is the reactant. So if you can remember the increase in the concentration or decrease in the concentration of products and reactants, think of heat as a product or a reactant and just follow the same pattern. So here we have um, an exothermic reaction that's releasing heat. If we add heat, the reaction shifts to, to reduce that. If we remove heat by cooling it, the reaction shifts to replace that. Endothermic reaction has heat as a reactant. You have to put heat into it to cause this to happen. So if we add heat, the reaction shifts away from that. If we remove heat, the reaction shifts toward that to replace it. So this reaction actually is, is really neat because N2O4 is a colorless gas and NO2 is a brown gas. So this glass tube is sealed and it's filled with um, N2O4 and NO2 and they are at, at equilibrium. When we put this in warm water, when we add heat, we see that it turns brown because this equilibrium is shifted towards the NO2. When we take that same tube and put it in a cold situation like ice, we see that the color goes away because removing the heat causes the equilibrium to shift towards the colorless reactant. I want to get one of those tubes because I think it would be fun to play with in class. Wouldn't that be fun? Got to work on that. So summary, in exothermic reaction, heat's a product. Endothermic reaction, heat's a reactant. So treat it the same as increasing or decreasing concentrations. So the following reaction is exothermic. What does that mean? Is heat a reactant or a product? Exothermic means heat going out, right? So heat's a product. What's the effect of increasing the temperature? Is it going to shift right or left? It will shift left because increasing the temperature is adding heat. It says, I don't like that. I'm going to go over here. If we decrease the temperature, it will shift to the right to replace that heat. Okay? 